Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my precious pack, and welcome back once more to Vega Conflict, or better known as the game that sucks your soul out. So, what did I want to talk about today? Well, I wanted to talk about mass production of vessels to farm through the game in a different way. On one hand, you can just build up one fleet and farm slowly, and then repair. Or you can do what I've done, and this is something that I started doing towards the end of Tier 8, and the reason for this is because when I run one fleet into the ground, it normally takes around an hour, and then I take a break. But the process and the progress is fairly weak during that time frame, so I decided that I'd start making it. So any of them that I can auto with, such as the switches, to farm their own targets, I optimize them for that. And then in the case of these caustics, they're, this, they're a very similar way. They still have to take time to farm, and the carrier doesn't belong there. It's only there until I can get a, an additional one of them set up, but I'm already starting with Generation 2, so it's going to be there until I make the final Generation 2 and start with Generation 3, and I'll make one more with Generation 1. And by the way, these ones are Generation 1. This is Generation 2. Yeah, there's a large difference between what each one can do. But... The reason that I went with mass production is fairly simple and straightforward. On one hand, the game kept adding more and more grinds, so I said that I'd cut out the reusable item grind. So I just completely removed a massive chunk of what I had to do. I only build with blueprints or credit items that I can get through the stores. So, blood amber items, basically. So, simplicity and ease of access. So any of these fleets that you see me using, you can get too because it's all just general things in the game you can farm, and you don't have to devote a massive amount of time. In the case of the switches, these ones are directly dedicated to farming the switch upgrades, which means they build up these fleets and these fleets. Whereas this fleet goes up against targets with a primary energy damage type to combat them and beat them, and by the way, they're the exact same combat fitting as the others, they just have different shielding, and at some point, they will have different resistors on them. But for now, that's what they have. And as for Generation 3, they never really got too far along because I stopped because I was doing other stuff at the time. But now that I'm farming again, I'll use Generation 1 and Generation 2, even though they're the exact same fittings, I'll, re um, I'll refit the shielding and bring them around full circle. And same with Generation 3. Whenever I need to mass farm a specific item, I'll refit all the shielding and just help them along. As for the arcs, I'm going to drop them because I'm not too interested in them at the moment. Need to start farming with the Taurus, but I want to refit it. Generation 2 of the Caustics is rolling out, and the reason for all of this, again, is mass production. Because the more, um, the more fleets you have, the more you can auto-farm, or the more you have in reserve. So let's say you want to farm for a long period of time, but you don't want to spend coins. This is a viable option, and it's mass production. You start Generation 1, leave them to base level, and then start Generation 2, upgrade them, and it just keeps on going. By the time you get to Generation 3, Generation 1 and 2 will be on a similar mark level as what Generation 3 will be built into. So in the case of the Generation 2s, by the time that I'm done, since I got all of them up to Mark II and I farmed basically the entirety of the event, I'm not kidding, I claimed every single Caustic 2 pattern that I could, and I'm just mass producing them at the moment, as you can see. The point is, you make multiple generations of them, and as each successive generation is built stronger and stronger, by the time you get to Generation 3, the number of mark upgrade patterns you have far exceeds what you need, so you can upgrade the previous generations and you can be re, uh, refitting them. And by the end of the month, you can have two or three fully built up fleets, depending on, depending on how many vessels you produced in the, in the duration of the time frame. So let's start with Generation 1 and Generation 2. Generation 1 took over two days to build a piece, but not over three days. Generation 2 is taking exactly two days to build with this exact fitting. So over the course of a typical 30-day month, I could produce 15 of them, three shy of three fleets. That's acceptable because that would mean I could have two full fleets and then three in reserve. And I could um, finish building the other ones during a month, so in the case of a vessel that's not as good in my eyes for what I like doing, I can just completely cut it out and ignore it because it's not as necessary in my eyes. 
So mass production is focused on a single specialization. And that's all there is to it. Mass production, the game summarized in a fairly short video. But I hope this helps anyone that may be thinking of going into the mass production vessels like I have and might think of taking it up because in some situations you can easily auto farm the um, upgrades so as you build more and more fleets it becomes easier and easier. On another one you can actually, in the case of the caustics, you can set the targets up and then leave them about 30 seconds in and the fleet can take the rest of them out fairly easily and quickly so you can get the upgrades very quickly and easily. And the additional one is you always have reserves, so if a fleet gets destroyed due to a mishap, you don't have to panic because, again, this fleet gets destroyed, I have this one. This one gets destroyed, I'll have this one. This one gets destroyed, I'll have this one. It's more or less redundancy over actual tactical prowess in the game anymore because, again, years and years have burned me out, so I've turned to a different way of playing. But I wanted to at least explain that in a video and start rolling out videos again. Don't know when the next video is going to be, due to how often I keep saying that it'll be tomorrow and that it comes like a week later. But for now, that's going to be all. Be safe out there in my pack, happy hunting, and as always, I'll see you later.